Ladies and gents, welcome back. We are seeing the beginnings of a standoff between the federal government and the provinces here in Canada. This in particular has to do with farmers' land and the trespass of the federal agents going on these farmers' lands to take samples for environmental protections. We have, I reported yesterday, uh, Jeremy Cockrell, the MLA from Saskatchewan, saying we're demanding an explanation from Federal Minister S. Gibo on why his department is trespassing on private land without owner's permission to take water samples from dugouts. We have received reports of this occurring in several places throughout Saskatchewan, threatening to uh, enforce trespass laws in the province, which he has jurisdiction over. And uh, some of the trespass laws would in uh, what do we have here? Uh, violating this act can result in a max penalty of $25,000 for repeat offenders up to six months imprisonment. And following a conviction of the first or subsequent offense, a 200000 max penalty for any corporation or councils and or aides in the commission of that offense. And he leaves a phone number where people can uh, report incidences of this. Now, this accelerated and went uh, next to Scott Moe, who is the premier of the province, premier of Saskatchewan, leader of the Sask Party, he says, we are demanding an explanation from Federal Minister Gibeau on why his department is trespassing on private land without owner's permission to take water samples from dugouts. Read Minister Cockrell's, Cockrell's letter below. Now it went further. Now we have Travis Taves, who's running to be the next premier of Alberta, ML, MLA for Grand Prairie. And he joins in on this fight. He says, reports, these reports out of Saskatchewan are disturbing. The federal government has no right to trespass on private lands. As premier, I would ensure that Alberta landowners are protected and the trespass laws are enforced. Now, these, this is getting serious. Now, uh, the Counter Signal writing an article, UCP, United uh, Conservative Party leadership candidate Travis Taves, has committed to enforcing Alberta's trespass laws should Trudeau's climate agents illegally enter farmers' premises to test nitrogen levels. Now, of course, this is mirroring what's going on in the Netherlands at the moment, where they're pushing nitrogen laws, uh, making it so farmers have to reduce their amount of nitrogen that they use on their farms by 30% by 2030. Uh, very unique law that happens to be passing in every country where the leadership have been undermined, let's say, by a particular global institution. Now, this is bankrupting farmers in the Netherlands, and it's come here to Canada to roost. Now, here's the article from Kian Bexty at the Counter Signal. Leave the link in the description down below. Of course, as always, these reports are disturbing, says the, the tweet. Saskatchewan Minister Jeremy Cockrell and Premier Scott Moe have both sounded the alarm on reports that the government of Canada employees trespassing on farmers' land to test the waters in dugouts to measure nitrate levels. Cockrell has since penned a letter to the federal government to tell Trudeau's climate minister, Stephen Gibault, that such actions constitute a breach of the Saskatchewan Trespass to Property Act, further warning agents that these actions could carry serious penalties, including total fines of amounting to $200,000 and a six-month prison sentence. Recently, Saskatchewan's producers in the Pence Mooseback and Pilot Boot areas contra contacted, contacted the government of Saskatchewan and raised serious concerns about the government of Canada employees and clearly marked government of Canada vehicles trespassing on private lands. When approached by producers, these employees indicated that they were there testing waters Sources for pesticide and nitrate levels, Cockrell's letter reads, the land and water bodies a producer's dugout are both privately owned. Government of Canada representatives did not request permission to enter the landowner nor 
nor did any seek permission to perform testing or advise landowners of any other purpose or attendance. Neither Trudeau or Stephen Guibault has responded to the letter of or the Premier's demands, with Guibault choosing to spend the day tweeting about caribou instead of addressing Canadians' real concerns. So far, Saskatchewan appears to be the only place where this is happening. However, given Trudeau's government proposed nitrogen reduction policy, farmers across the country are concerned and more people in positions of power like Taves need to speak out. So yeah, it's not happening yet in, well, it hasn't been reported in Alberta, Manitoba, or any of the major uh, producers' provinces. I haven't heard anything yet here from British Columbia, but I'll keep everyone posted on this. This is a growing story. We've seen what happens with these nitrogen policies uh, first happening in Sri Lanka was, uh, well, detrimental. It just destroyed their economy entirely. They went full bore. They said no nitrates. You, uh, you can't use any whatsoever. It tanked their economy. They're doing this in countries all over Europe where they're telling farmers they have to reduce their nitrogen levels by 30% or greater by a given time and it's bankrupting them many many claiming that this is actually the purpose of these laws is to bankrupt these farmers put them in in the rears where they would have to sell their land to the government for housing projects we'll see what happens here in canada but it looks like the provinces are beginning to have a standoff with the federal government when it comes to the rights of property owners and what happens on their lands. Let me know in the comments down below what you think on this subject. What is going on here in Canada? Are we going to see this go go unchecked, or are we going to actually see a real standoff where premiers and uh, public officials from the provinces put an end to government overreach here in Canada? We'll see. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do that now. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. It'll let you know when I go live. I go live every Friday at 6.30 Pacific time. But I do have the occasional guest and uh, it sometimes it's unannounced where you pop in from time to time. So make sure you're notified for that. And we'll see you in the next one. Keep on tracking.